the strange and exotic. See you next time. Bye. And hopefully I will be getting my butt down to editing all of these videos. <laughs> Doodles. Okay. Welcome to Lifestyles and... Why can I not speak either? I wish I could, like, absorb bunnies. Awesome. Oh, well. Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Random Review. This time I shall be reviewing <coughs> the Bluetooth Stereo Headset from Random Chinese Company. Uh, <laughs> and it comes in six different colors. And for some weird reason, all the colors are different prices. Let's see if I can find it for you here. Now, I use headphones when I work between working. <laughs> and, you know, if you're doing, like, crap stuff and you want to listen to something and you don't want to have to, you know, if nobody else wants to listen to what you want to listen to, you use headphones. Well, if you're doing crafting, whatever, especially if you're doing, like, plastic canvas or sewing or something, it, you, whatever the hell it is you're doing usually gets caught in the stupid freaking wire, which is really rather annoying and sometimes, you know, dangerous. You know, whatever it is you're plugged into will fall off or you come unplugged and... Ugh. So I'm like, okay, I'd like to see about getting wireless headphones. Well, for some weird reason, they're really rather expensive. There we go. Okay. On Amazon, it's the Bluetooth stereo headset with microphone in, which I keep forgetting. I never use that function. I've never even tested that. But supposedly, there's a microphone in here. And I got the blue ones, because those were the cheapest. Uh, in for iPhone 4, 4S, iPad 2, 2, 3, PS3, and whatever else has a uh, Bluetooth capability, basically. Mm, my androids work on it fine. Uh, we can support two devices at the same time. Which doesn't make sense to me, because why would you be listening to things at the same time? And, let's see. The blue was $16.46. Which I'm pretty sure they went up, because that is not what I paid for it. I paid like $12. Nope. Yeah, I think it would. I think it was free shipping too. Yep, free shipping. Uh, what did I pay for this? I think it has gone up. It does not wish to tell me. I paid eleven dollars and nine cents for mine. So, the price for the blue ones at that point were the cheapest ones has gone up. And you are not helping, dude. You know you're supposed to sit over there. Why are you not sitting over there? Sit over there. make you bottle the headphones. <laughs> Let's just make this more awkward than it already is. Yeah. Okay, the blue now is $16.46. The cheapest ones now are the red ones, which are $11.69. And some of the reviews have said that people have bought in a color and gotten a different color. I don't care what the hell color they were, as long as they work. <laughs> so, yep. And why the different colors are different prices, I don't know. Maybe it's the popularity that I guess, you know, the more people want something, the more they want to charge for it. Oh, well. Now, I am beyond impressed with these. I wasn't sure what to expect because, you know, the reviews were kind of hit and miss. And it's like, well, you know, I don't expect it to be like in the symphony or in the movie that I'm listening to. I just want to hear sound, you know? <laughs> I want to make out what the people are saying on my video, that type of thing. And the sound quality is more than okay. It's perfectly fine. And it was easy enough to program. Is the direction still in here? Nope. Uh, you pretty much just turn it on, turn on your unit, turn the Bluetooth on your unit, and I don't know if each one has a separate thing, but it's like Aldo 2 or something like that. Just connect, and I had no problem. I connected everything I've connected them to without issue. And this 
and it comes with your power cord that you can either connect to, you know, wall outlet or USB port. It's better, huh? USB. But this has like the older style phone jack. Not the tiny ones that they have now. Sort of the era before. So if you have an old old phone, you might still have the cord that this will work with. But it does come with a short cord. And what's really kind of cool is that you have the buttons on, well, these are the fake ones, these are the real ones, on the side here that control what you, you know, it has the volume on the bottom, and then you can skip, repeat, or whatever, if you're listening to the songs on the top, and then the power button's in the middle. So that's really kind of neat. Now, I will admit, for me, these are awesome because I have a teeny tiny head and most friggin headphones are for made for people with big noggins I guess because even on the shortest setting they're still down here somewhere so if you have a larger head these will not work for you if you're you know pint sized fun sized like yours truly you will finally find a pair of headphones that will fit your head <laughs> so these are good kid sized small person headphones and they I actually had to push them down a little ways, which is something I never experienced before with headphones. So these are awesome. And I've worn them, you know, for like hours on end. Shut up, don't judge me. Uh, and they do get tight after a while, depending on where you put them, but they are very comfortable. The sponge is perfectly comfortable. I've had no problems with them. I do like the kind of, it's not really soft, but it's kind of a, rubberized thing so they don't slip around at all. I've even actually used, you know, cut them on as, you know, uh, earmuffs as I'm going. <laughs> so they've doubled as earmuffs and they fit well under my hat. So for me, these are perfect and I would definitely invest in another pair. And I've had them uh, around Christmas, maybe a little after Christmas. When did I buy these? Actually, before Christmas, I placed the order the 4th of December, and they came fairly fairly quickly, within a couple of weeks. So, for, what, a month, month and a half, almost two months, I've used them regularly, weekly anyways, maybe a few times per week, for extended period, periods, and I haven't had any problem at all so far, so, knock on fake wood. <laughs> Do I have anything that's actually wood? So very happy with these. The range, if you have a small house or an apartment and you need to get up to go to the bathroom, you'll, you'll still hear what you're listening to. Anything bigger than that. I haven't tested it here. Uh, maybe if you're in one room and need to go like two rooms over, that's about as far as you're going to get. So yeah, if you're, if you're, have, you know, get your tablet or whatever at home and you're driving to like Wisconsin or something, it ain't gonna work, you know, it's a very limited range. Uh, strange note though, I don't know if this is for all Bluetooth devices, if a microwave is going, it'll skip. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> turn them off if you're gonna use the microwave. Um, let's see. I don't know, there's not much more I can really say. Um, the directions were easy enough to follow, but the diagram that shows you, you know, what button does what was really teeny tiny. So if they just sort of enlarged the font a little bit, that was like my only gripe. Um, goes effective range 10 meters. I don't know what that is in American. <laughs> Seriously, we should, you know, figure that out. Standby time up to 250 hours. Not quite sure what that means. But the Let's see, how long do they last on battery? I've managed a few hours, I think. Let's see. Uh, yeah, maybe 5-6 hours. Uh, 
so it's got a fairly decent battery life and to charge them back up and you can tell when the battery is dying because it'll little, like beep 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 it'll give you a warning which is nice and this this little light will light up and turn blue when you've got it turned on and battery's okay and you know as you're charging the light turns blue when it's fully charged and then when it loses its charge it turns red so basically all you do is you can plug it into your computer or you know wall adapter outlet and I just do it overnight plug it into my computer hang it off my desk there and charges fairly quickly maybe maybe an hour or so maybe I don't know I haven't really timed it because I never needed to and it's ready to go the next time I need them and the little connector thingy is right there so if you've got a smaller head and you really hate having to deal with stupid wires definitely worth getting and if you don't care what what color you're getting the prices vary by color which is kind of unfair uh, let's see. see where is the little bastard um, it is free shipping so that's nice uh, the most expensive ones are the blue ones now, which is strange. It's sixteen forty-six. The black is fourteen dollars. Orange is twelve. Pink is fifteen. Red is twelve, and the white's fifteen. So they have gone up in price since I've gotten them, which is kind of sad, but still a lot cheaper than thirty, forty, fifty, hundred dollar ones you can find. So if you just want to hear sound and you don't want to spend a lot of money. For under $20, this is definitely a good buy. And it's Moondusa on Amazon, but there's different places. So, at the, t at the time, these are the place that had them cheaper. You might find them cheaper at a diff different seller. So, yep. And as far as reviews, it's three and a half. I'd give it maybe four, but then, you know, I have a smaller head and that was a huge plus, the fact that they fit my tiny noggin very beautifully, so, oh yeah. So yeah, I definitely want, would invest in another pair. Uh, thank you for watching. Mm, I'm not quite sure if you're seeing me in the dark or what, because I think I blinded everybody because I had my lamp here. I'll figure this out eventually. <laughs> Do remember to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye. And hopefully I will be getting my butt down to editing all of these videos. <laughs> Doodles.